Not long before this new normal that has turned our world upside down, our Tracy Smith sat down with Alicia Keys to chat about her new book, as well as other matters. Here's their conversation for the record. Alicia Keys might be the reigning queen of cool. With her megawatt smile and her 15 Grammy Awards, she's a one-woman musical empire with more sold-out concerts than she can name and more fans than she can count. But even as she was rocketing to new heights of fame, the private Alicia Keys was struggling with some lingering doubts about what she was doing, why she was doing it, and even who she was. Hey, this is a big deal. <laughs> we met up with her about a week ago, just before the world as we knew it shut down. Looking at you from the outside, you seem like someone who's always kind of known herself. I hear that a lot. And yet this has been a struggle for you. It is, it has, totally. But the, the, I think the craziest part is that I didn't know that I didn't know myself. These covers, they keep me warm and so for the past few years, the 39-year-old married mother of two started doing some hard soul searching. And the result is a book, not a memoir but more a journal of self-discovery. She goes back to the very beginning, writing about how her mom, Terry Agello, who was then a single paralegal, had a relationship with flight attendant Craig Cook and got pregnant. Your mom talks about how she, she nearly had an abortion. Right, even her mother said to her, Terry, you never do anything easy, you know? And she was making a really big choice, and at the time, I'm sure she didn't even know why she was making that choice exactly, but she knew it. She knew what she needed to do. Alone and financially struggling, Terry raised her daughter in what was then one of New York City's toughest neighborhoods, Hell's Kitchen. Our interview with Alicia's mom was called off last week because of concerns about the coronavirus, but her accomplishments speak for themselves. She raised a girl in the middle of Hell's Kitchen, which looked like it sounds, you know? It was rough. Hard, dangerous, difficult, scary. I can't even imagine as a mother today, me, sending my kid off into those streets because, but if you had to, I mean, what was she gonna do? She had to go to work, I had to go to school, we had to live, that's how it is. I'm so grateful to her for, for choosing me. And I really appreciate her. You know? Did you appreciate it growing up? No! I hated it! <laughs> you kidding me? I was like, could you give me some space? <laughs> but the tough love worked. When Alicia Keys graduated high school as valedictorian, she was offered a scholarship to Columbia University and, somewhat poetically, a contract with Columbia Records. She ultimately chose the music and wrote the song that would change her life overnight. Sometimes I love you. Sometimes and you write that you were, I want to make sure I have the right words, you were looking for that one song that would raise the hair on your arms <laughs> and you found it. I was actually writing that song already while I was at Columbia and that song was falling. That album brought the rewards of sudden fame and all the problems that go with it. Alicia says she wanted to please everyone and that she'd work herself to exhaustion trying to do it. You start to think that you have to do everything that you can possibly do to make sure that these doors remain open for you. Say yes to as much as you can. Yeah. Try to make people happy. Absolutely. But at the same time, are you making yourself happy? You think you're happy, because, right, that's what you were here working for, right? This you're was like, the point, yeah. It's like, oh man, this is actually happening. This is great. I'm so happy. And then I think little by little, you start to see 
maybe going too hard. Maybe you start to see that you're not getting enough sleep. You're just constantly ignoring your own feelings, your own emotions, your own intuition, your own instinct. I have to remind myself, even today, that you, know, you are valuable, you're important, and you have to take care of your self. You still are saying that to, that to you today? Today, today. At this point, I've created a habit that I have to remind myself, hey, hey, guess what? You should go sit on that couch, and you should just relax, because that's just as valuable as all of the work. Of course, the work is still important to her. She has a new album, Alicia, coming out soon. But it might be that Alicia Keys has captured where we all are at this moment. Tell me something. Pausing for a little self-reflection and ready to come back even stronger on the other side. I think that this idea of being even more accepting of just how I am as I am it, you know? Like, I might be in a really shitty mood. And that's okay. I can be there. <laughs> I'm good, it's okay. Because, you know, I think that we do this thing where we swallow our truth and we don't let it out. So I'm, fin I'm finished with that. You're letting it out. Done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done with the swallowing and the holding back and the, you know, the excusing and all of that and just, just being, just being. That was good, I feel better. <laughs>